It's the contractor, okay? I can't lose this job. I, I understand. Let, let's talk about this in the morning, okay? Let's, we'll talk about it in the morning. <laughs> All right, good night. Hey. Scoot. Fun day at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, crud, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. What's this? Your birthday? You kept complaining about your broken watch. So I figured, you know. You like it? Honey, this is... It's what? nice, but I... I think it's stuck. It's not... What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage, then. Yeah, you wish. Welcome everybody, Josh here, back in the day with a brand new product review today. We're talking about the Elk Tracker Men's 10 inch waterproof from Red Wing. Now, as you guys know, I'm a massive fan of the Last of Us franchise, been a huge fan of the Last of Us TV series as well, mostly because the first season is pretty badass. And with that being the case, I wanted to get a pair of these, which is the Elk Tracker Men's 10 inch waterproof boot. And that's basically the review that we do for you guys on this channel. Recently acquired them after the holidays, or a day or two after Christmas. I got them within a couple of days later. So basically, it took me a week to kind of finally get these boots. And with that being the case, I was super excited were actually openings out of the box, mostly due to the fact that I cosplay as Joel from the video games, and due to the fact that I didn't really have any really cool um, you know, boots from you know, either the TV shows or the games, the fact that I was having to use these Timberland boots that kind of look good enough, just because of the fact that I want to get screen accurate boots from the TV series, especially the fact that I'm a huge fan of this franchise. So what is The Last of Us for those who haven't seen either the TV show or the video games in the franchise? Well, The Last of Us basically takes place in the early 2000s, basically a viral outbreak kind of gets let loose, and all hell basically breaks loose in terms of the fact that Joel is a father in Texas, and he's basically trying to survive the viral outbreak itself. And along the way, you kind of meet his brother Tommy, and basically the Fireflies, and the fact that, you know, he's escorting this girl, or trying to get this girl from point A to point B to the Fireflies, so that way, you know, from point A to point B, because of the fact that, you know, Ellie is immune to this virus, and they're going to try and do research to kind of find a cure for the virus. And that's one of the reasons why I really do love this TV series and the video game franchise itself, mostly because of the fact that it is about fathers and daughters, and I'm a huge sucker for anything in terms of media that's about fathers and daughters father's sons, especially with things like Star Wars franchise. I think that this video game franchise definitely inspired me in terms of a filmmaker and screenwriter kind of tell stories of my own just because of the fact that this is a really great video game. It's definitely cinematic like the Uncharted franchise and I've done a review of this video game franchise on my channel so this isn't really going to be a review for the video game per se but I think that if you're buying these boots because you're a huge fan of the TV show and you kind of want some nice decent high quality leather boots from Red Wing to kind of go along with your Joel Delasis cosplays because they do have t-shirts from Insert Coin and these are the t-shirts that Joel basically wears the universe. And I definitely think that this adds to the authenticity that you're looking for in terms of your cosplay. And so being that as the case, I'm a huge fan of screen acting from either TV shows or video game franchises that I like. So if I can get close enough or good enough stuff that looks like the stuff in the video games or the movies that I'm basically cosplaying as, and I definitely think that it goes a long way in terms of authenticity with your cosplay. So let me grab the boots and I'll talk to you guys about the boots in just a second here. So these are the Irish Setter El Tracker Men's 10 inch waterproof boots. These are a waterproof boot similar to that of Timberlands that I reviewed for my Jurassic Park boot review. These do have a similar design and shape to it of the Alden World 5's, the cork outsole here. It's definitely got a really cool rubber piece here for the sole of the boot and I, th I think that's one of the things that really adds to uniqueness of this boot is this diamond or triangular shape with some of the pieces here in terms of the rubber sole of this boot. The boots themselves are made out of really great leather material in terms of the design and the make and model of these boots. It's got some of these little black pieces here within the leather itself and it's got a really cool design quality to 
that you will recognize anywhere else, especially with this piece here that kind of juts out a little bit from the front. And I really do like the fact that this does have speed hooks in that of Alden 405s, which you just got on Alden. It's definitely something that takes a little bit of time to get used to in terms of men's fashion, especially if you're not used to kind of doing the speed hooks in terms of, you know, where I think that over time you get a little bit used to it, especially if you're using more speed hooks on your boots, typically like I am. Now, when I opened these boots out of the box itself, these were massive, and I didn't realize how massive these boots were until I pulled them out of the box and put them on my butt. Even with that being the case, I think it's designed that way to kind of know how in terms of winter and rainy weather environments. You know, I do live in Minnesota in the Midwest, so here in the winter, we kind of get rainy seasons where it's not constantly, you know, dropping rain on you and downpouring and stuff like that. And you've also got your snowy weather season, which it kind of hasn't really snowed that much. And I definitely think that if you're wearing these on your feet, you're not going to have any issues wearing these boots at all, just because of the fact that you feel really comfortable. They have really great leather material, similar to that of the Alden 4 Vibes. They definitely look kind of stylish, especially with the fact that I really don't go out of my way to kind of purchase casual men's wear. I'm not like a fashion guru. I don't really go out of my way to kind of buy expensive stuff unless it's for things like cosplay purposes or the fact that it's from a TV show or film that I really do like because it kind of adds that authenticity of cosplay like it's new But with that being the case, I think that these boots are really great in terms of design. I think that even with that $239 price tag that's attached to a boot axe, I don't think you're getting any lesser of quality with a boot maker than Red Wing. I think that Red Wing has definitely been around for a very long time with sort of their heritage model that you can't really go wrong, especially with some of those as well. But I think that due to the fact that I cosplay as Joel, I kind of need these for my screen accurate cosplay, and just because of the fact that those user crappy looking boots and stuff that wasn't going to hold up for a long period of time. But I definitely think with the build model of these boots, you're not going to have issues with these wearing down over time. You're not going to have to take these in to get them resold in probably a while in terms of wearing them, so especially wear them for a few years. But I actually ordered them, like I said before, in terms of their lead time a couple days after Christmas. And I bought these boots and they arrived a couple days from ordering them. So they have a fast lead time. There's not really much going on in terms of the of the world right now. So you can get them within a week of ordering them, which is also really nice in terms of getting them in a speedy time, especially if you want to wear these to a cosplay convention or going to just anywhere in general that's doing a lot of, you know, cosplay conventions. So, so I'm going to go set those boots down and really go over my thoughts and opinions over the boots. So the Elk Tracker Leather Hunting Boot is built for the big game hunter within all of us, but it's versatile enough to take anywhere. The Ultra Dry Waterproof Membrane keeps you dry in what conditions. We have added our exclusive scent band, which you can kind of see here. I don't know if you guys kind of see this in this video, but I'm going to definitely put in a B-roll footage of that and try and show you guys that on sort of the side of this boot for you guys once I actually finish. So it's got the scent band, the odor control technology to kill bacteria and eliminate odors. The sole is a good year belt, which you guys can kind of see on the side here of this boot. It's got that really classic Alden 405 style boot design in terms of that, even though it's kind of resembling that of a commando boot, um, similar to that you'd see in the U.S. military. But it also includes a comfortable steel shank, which provides more stable footing and helps support your feet and calves with a much needed technology and comfort. And your feet will feel like you've never left home in this 10 inch boot. Now, I did get my boots in a size 8.5 in terms of the sizing of the L Tracker Men's 10 inch waterproof leather boot from Irish Setter. I typically order my boots now or even my typical shoes in the 8.5s. The Aldens, I probably could have gotten a half size down and I probably would have felt even better in terms of wearing those boots and still been comfortably fine in them. With the Irish Setters, the Elk Track boots, I ordered it in a size 8.5 and I think that if I got them any shorter, my feet would not fit comfortably in those boots. I think that I would have been smashed in there because these boots are gigantic and kind of basically feel tight when you're wearing these boots itself when I put them on previously. And so I'm really happy with the fact that I just went with my gut when I was ordering these boots. Ordering boots online is a little bit tricky just because of the fact that they have different sizes and not every single size is basically the same. So I think that if you're ordering from Red Wing, you typically order your normal shoe size. And if you need to kind of take them in, definitely send them back in and get either a smaller or bigger shoe. But I think that if I ordered them either bigger or smaller, they wouldn't have fit as great as they do right now. So I just basically went with my gut and I said, you know, eight five is good enough for me. They do have uh, two different lists in here. They've got the regular D and they've got the double E in terms of the list. I went with the regular D just the fact that I felt like they were big enough. So I didn't need to kind of go any bigger than that. But some of the individuals that are on my channel or just trying to look for these to buy in general might want a bigger size boot depending on their shoe size originally in terms of your tennis shoes or even just foot size in general definitely going to try and get your foot measured before you kind of get these boots just kind of you know gauge what your shoe size is and basically go from there but i really do think that these boots are fantastic i think even given the fact these weren't in a highly rated uh, tv series like the last of us which was basically made by neil Druckmann, who directed the tv series as well as made the video game franchise itself and the writer craig mason who basically wrote screenplay for the show and i think that these are really great boots that you can basically wear anywhere whether that's you know casual footwear aside or if you're wearing them for cosplay kind of like what i do here on this channel but you know i think even with that 239 dollars price tag while well, it is kind of high compared to something like aldens where the aldens are 600 dollars and they're a couple hundred bucks so you can buy you know these boots and something else that you would want um if you want to go from there and do that but you no know, i think i'm really with the irish setters to the point where i don't think i'm gonna have to return these or get a new pair in a very
very long time. I'm going to build all the, and these boots are great. I'm not Rose Anvil. I don't really take my boots and cut them apart. I don't really purposely try and damage boots. I basically try and keep my boots as clean as possible just because of the fact that even while I do wear my stuff out in public, I typically try and keep my stuff to the point where you no, know, it looks just as good as the day that I bought it. So you know, I think that if you're buying these boots to last you a while, especially in winter weather conditions and wet and rainy conditions, boots are going to be good for that as well. But other than that, I really don't have any issues with the Irish Setter um, Red Wing Company boots. I think these are definitely a boot company that you should be on the lookout for. I was kind of surprised when I was actually doing this review for this channel and the fact that I was actually buying these boots and nobody really did a review for them on their channels at all. You know, people typically do the Grant Stones, they do Red Wings, they do sort of the, you know, more popular boots. But I've never seen anybody, you know, go after and sort of, you know, review these boots. So I'm probably the first one doing these on this channel. But, you know, I think with the fact that I'm a huge fan of The Last of Us, I'm trying to get a little bit more into casual, you know, men's wear. I'm trying to take my style a little bit. And I think these were definitely a good purchase and something that I'm definitely going to wear for a very long time. So leave a comment in the comment section down below what you guys think of these. Are you guys going to be purchasing these boots for either a Last of Us cosplay where you're cosplaying as Joel from either the TV show or the video game franchise itself, kind of like I am? Are you going to be purchasing these boots for casual men's wear just to kind of wear out in public, stuff like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So. No. No, no, no. What happens now? What are you doing, Tess? Oh, God. Maybe they, uh, maybe they had a map or uh, something to tell us where they were going. How far are we going to take as this? As far as it needs to go. Where was this lab of theirs? Oh, she never said. She only mentioned that it was someplace out west. What are we doing here? This is not us. What do you know about us? About me. I know that you are smarter than this. Really? Guess what? We're shitty people, Joel. It's been that way for a long time. No, we are survivors. This is our chance. It is over, Tess! Now, we tried. Let's just go home. I'm not... I'm not going anywhere. This is my last stop. What? Our luck had to run out sooner or later. You going on... No, don't! Don't touch me. Holy shit. She's infected. <laughs> Joel. Let me see. I didn't mean for this. Show it to me. <laughs> Oops, right? Give me your arm. This was three weeks. I was bitten an hour ago, and it's already worse. This is fucking real, Joel. You've got to get this girl to Tommy's. He used to run with this crew. He'll know where to go. No, no, no. no. That was your crusade. I am not doing that. Yes, you are. Look, there's enough here that you have to feel some sort of obligation to me, so you get her to Tommy's. They're here. Damn it. I can buy you some time, but you have to run. You want us to just leave you here? Yes. There is no way that... I will not turn into one of those things. Come on. Make this easy for me. I can find... No, no, just go! Just fucking go. Ellie. I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't mean for this. Get a move on. Stop. You stay close to me. We have to move. Oh, man. 